Pillar number three is the pillar of nothing about me without me. I love this one. It's so simple and it's a pillar that can be implemented immediately. This is moving from secrecy and behind closed door conversations to dignified inclusion with an impacted individual about what's happening to them, with them, for them. In fact, it's about having them be part of that conversation rather than hearing about it after decisions have been made for them. This is removing the toxic fume of distrust and it's about saying that I won't be talking about your mental health issues unless you're part of that conversation. And where it's not practical for you to be in the same room or where it's not practical for you to be in that conversation, we're going to negotiate first about what we're sharing, who we're sharing it with and what outcomes we're looking for in that conversation. Then I'll completely brief you afterwards about what was said, what decisions um, we were able to identify or what options we were able to identify. And now we're coming to you with these options for, for us to collaborate on the next step. So it's about having collaboration in the process, not exclusion. And also uh, involving people that do have lived experience or relevant professional experience in that conversation as well, rather than having people who might never have had awareness through experience uh, working with others or their own experience or professional training on what's going to be um, effective or suitable or appropriate. So on an individual level, you could ask yourself, do I include the person with mental health problems in all conversations about them and their work? And on an organisational level, are decisions regarding their needs being discussed with this person present or without them present? Are people with a lived experience of mental ill health involved when we develop the mental health policy for the organisation? Has anyone seen the movie um, Concussion? It's, it's a movie with Will Smith, Smith and he's a South African. Yeah, you've seen it, Bodhika. Um, he's a um, coroner and he works to um, do the autopsies and on footballers who've had multiple concussions. And he discovers that they're getting this kind of, I think it was some sort of encephalitis or a tiny, tiny micro um, bleeds on the brain from all of their concussions, which was affecting their mental health. And many of these soldiers were become, have experiencing, sorry, not soldiers, football players, were experiencing psychotic episodes and suicidal ideation. So he brought this to the um, attention of the NFL in the US. So he's South African uh, doctor, but operating in the US. So he brought this to the attention of the NFL. Now, um, in the movie, and I don't know whether it was a dramatised version or, or how much truth was in this, but in the, it, it, as the story goes, he brought this to the attention of the NFL and they said, we've got this. We've already actually done our own studies into this effect, into what's happening here. And what our doctors found was that there was no link between concussion and these symptoms. But then we discover that the doctors, the medical professionals that had been gathered to make this call on the processes involved with the game and concussions weren't even brain um, neurological doctors. One of them was a vet. So there were a couple of doctors and one of them was a vet. And here they were without appropriate expertise playing a massive role in the um, findings. So it, it's really important that you match your horses for courses and have people with appropriate experience and appropriate knowledge and skills helping to build the mental health policy for a workplace. It's great to have, you know, you absolutely must have the executives in your organisation as part of that, but it's not sufficient. You've got to also have mental health consultants and people with lived experience sharing what is effective. 
Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.